Well, welcome back. Uh, we're still on the RGTV Breakfast Show and we've got someone delectable, lovely and beautiful in the house. I, I love names that start that have very, um, uh, that the letters are not very usual. Mm -hmm. You know, when you see names that start with Z or Q or X or J, you're thinking that it's Chinese or something, but now we've got Zora in the house. Zora. It's great to have you. You are welcome. Thank you. I, thank wish, you. I, wish, I wish they could see you standing. You look <laughs> lovely by the way. You look thank lovely you. by the way. Thank Zora, you. I love your hair. Thank you. Is, is it Brazilian or Peruvian? Oh, no, 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 no. This Which is one? kinky. This is always kinky. 100% kinky. Kinky. What, what's, what's the difference? What, what, what's what's uh, uh, classified for me? What's kinky? Is kinky natural hair? Yeah, kinky is black hair, black human hair. Like this hair? This is another? African hair. Okay, <laughs> another African had this hair on her no, head. No, no, not exactly. <laughs> 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 no, because job, I, actually saw, I actually saw a documentary. And, you know, when I say hair, human hair, I just, I used to think that maybe they make the hair, it's synthesized in such a way that it looks like it's human. But then I found out that there's this uh, in China or something. I found out that they actually scrape the hair of people, take it to the, to, 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 to the factory. They go and, you know, they work on it and it's actually real human hair. Well, <laughs> not all the time, though. Not, not all the time. No, I, I said they do it. I didn't mm. say it's all the time. They are, it can't be all the time, but then they actually do it. I thought human hair generally was not real human hair. Anyways, we're not talking about your hair, even though it's very beautiful. We're talking Thank about you. Zora, the art is a performer yes, yes, wonderful yes, yes. by the way you know I, while we we're talking much earlier what stood out for me was that you were in a competition where you had to um sing with the legendary two-face and you've also released the video yeah, yeah. how was it having to perform with someone of that status you know like uh, i was like fresh out of water you know that was how i felt and then it was like, okay, you're going to be, you're going to have a song with Two-Face. I was like, oh, okay, that's great. Was it during and the competition And then you have a video. Oh, my God, I'm going to pass out. Hmm? Was it during the competition or after you won? Okay, it was, no, it was after I won. Okay, after you won. All right, go yes, ahead. Yes, yes. Right. So it was like, okay, you're going to have a video with Two-Face. You know, you're going to, I'm like, I'm going to have a video with Two-Face. Are you serious? You know, that like, for me, having a song was like be, you know, and then being in the video and then people getting to see it was everywhere. Mm. That was like, that was special and I was really grateful for that. Yeah. So, talking about competition though, um, you went for the first edition of Nigerian Idol in 2010. Yes, I you, did. you got to the semi-final stage. Yes, so how yes. was that like? How was like being after okay. that? Okay, yes. You know, I actually had, I did that before getting into school, as a, before becoming an undergraduate. I was just out of secondary school. That was like, mm -hmm. okay. I was during the admission process, you know, when I had to wait to get into school and all that. So I was like, okay, let me try this audition. And then I went. And then I got picked. You know, okay, 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 I got picked today. Let's see how, you know, tomorrow will be. And then I got past, you know, the top 100. I'm like, okay, this is getting serious. Top 50. I'm like, oh. Then semi finals. I'm like, wow, wow, like, this is awesome. How many were you guys in semi finals? So we were like uh, 15, they're about, yeah. But, you know, I didn't have enough votes. So I. That was good. <laughs> that was good. The semi final, <laughs> first yeah. edition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. That was it was just it was just based on votes. That was how you yeah 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 left yeah, the competition. Yeah, yeah, ah. <laughs> okay, but then how uh, considering that if you had gone very far and you were and you had to choose between going to school since you were still pursuing admission yeah, at that yeah. time and then pursuing a music career, what would you have done? Honestly, at that kind of uh, fragile age, because I was, um, I would say I know much more now. Okay. I understand, you know, at least life to an extent. But then I was 18 thereabout. So I would have probably been so excited. It is more fragile. <laughs> no, no, in I'm just saying current. for the industry, for the industry. Uh, 18 in the industry uh, and alone, like you don't have a manager, mm. you don't, I think it's fragile because you will just be blinded by your dreams. Mm. Like you just want to go and catch anything you can catch. Like thinking mm. it's that easy because you probably just think, okay, after Nigerian Idol, I'll just kind of rocket, you know, who mm. knows? I could just be on stage with Beyonce like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. So yeah, I think, I think the right thing happened at the right time. Because right, right after time. that, yeah, I got like into that. school, so. So were you, were you disappointed? Of course. And because some people be like, you know, when you say the right thing happened at the right time, I'm like, no, I'm okay with what I'm doing now. <laughs> I'll get it later. But then you felt, you really felt bad. Yeah, like I felt really bad. So how were you able to put yourself together and chase and, and go back to school? Okay, well, I had to just move on with life. Yeah, you know, if one road closes, you have to just stick mm. another. And aside from that, I've always wanted to study tether arts. You know, so, and then, okay, you got Tether Art, I got admitted into University of Badon studying Tether Art. That's like one of the best schools to study Tether Art. I was like, okay, this is another good 
mm. avenue, you know. Mm -hmm. So new new journey. So let's go. Mm -hmm. So I just. But the good thing is that you know, despite the fact that you were kind of defeated at the yeah, at this yes, competition, yes, yes. you still didn't give up. You went for another competition. That was the one mic yes, that you yes, won, yes, yes. and then you worked with Two Face, yes. and then you've also worked with you know a lot of other artists, yes, Idi Kabasa yes, and all. Yes, yes. So was that after Two Face or before? Okay, I would say the one mic, one mic competition opened like doors. Yeah, you. doors because mm. I got to do a couple of songs with Idi Kabasa. I got to work with Fino. Fino. I got to meet wonderful people like Omaomi. You know, they like a lot I can't even start mentioning all their names but I like so many people like I got to me and then I felt really grateful you know like I was just that's fresh out of school too because I just finished school wow. like right I did that in final year you know and then it was just one flimsy competition like that they, they had this <laughs> stage take it serious. Yeah, just you know they had the stage in SUB back then and then my friend was like people are singing let's just go if you do well they'll pick you I'm like no I have a performance in Trenchard please <laughs> <laughs> and that's like, way. in Trenchard you know that, that's like the big hall in yeah, school yeah. And okay, then on the same day yeah and then she's like oh my like, god I have she's like let's just go let's just go I was like, okay and then they picked me over her. That's a funny thing, because <laughs> I won for my school, and then I got to represent at the Western Region. Was she, was she a good okay. singer? Yeah, very good singer. Very. Bad Are you saying singer. that if they didn't pick you, should have been the one? Who knows? You okay, can but, never but how, how how many were you guys that contested? Oh at that God, there were very many. No, like we have a lot of talented people in my school. Okay, so and it was only one person. They yeah, picked. yeah. They just had to pick one singer and one rapper. Okay, yeah. to yeah. represent your rapper. school. Yeah, yes, wow. yes, yes. <laughs> okay, wow. so after after that, uh, you won. How was it? There was the next stage, or was yeah, it? Yeah, there, no, there was another uh -huh, stage. There was the that. regional finals. So we had to go to Ilori. Hmm. Yeah, Ilori, the Western region. So we had like every university in the Western region came wow. for that because it's like a regional thing. It's like I think that's one of the competitions that actually go to like raw talents because they come to your school. Mm. They get to go to your schools, they go to campuses, yeah. So they had one happening in the northern parts and the southern part. So this was the western part. So we co I competed with like all the western university. Um, Any lab was there? Also. Yeah, yeah, everybody. And after any lab, we make him out. <laughs> well, <laughs> where did they where did they reach? Where did I don't know. Reach? I'm not gonna talk about. Why are you not going to talk about it? No, I'm not going to talk oh, about it. You don't remember? No, I'm not, I no. I just feel you know, time and chance happens to everybody. You know, if it wasn't supposed to be me, I'm sure someone else would have mm. won. So I'm not going to brag about it. I'm not bragging. You are not bragging. To, uh, is is Le Le bragging? Is he your, is he like bragging for you? He's bragging. I'm not bragging for you. Okay, okay. Was, okay. Eh? But you lag was there. Right? Okay. <laughs> they were there. Anyway, schools were there. <laughs> schools were there. Schools were there from the Western region. And it was nice. And then I was like, on, the only singer missed rappers. Uh, yeah, so that, that got to more, that the top. Okay. No, no, no. We had other singers. They just kept dropping. Mm. So when we were like top five, that's when we got to the regional finals. We know wow. we kept dropping. Yeah, dropping. So it was like. I was now a singer competing against three guys that were rapping. I'm like, this is not fair. <laughs> like, mm. well, like, how were you able to pull through, though? I mean, you won against yeah, three yes, rappers, yes, three yes, great yes, rappers. Yes, how yes, were you yes. able to pull through? I don't know. I'll just say God's grace mm. because, and then this one weird competition, you know, it's not like some other competitions where they'll say, okay, sing a Celine Dion. I mean, I'll have gone to learn the song. You know, we got to this stage. We had different stages that before that day we had to record a song. So they want to see how you are originally. Mm. Like what kind of song can you write? So I wrote, I wrote a song before then. Wow. We recorded before then. You know, through the whole stress we had to record and then we had to perform that. And that, that was for like the second round after some other schools had dropped. So after passing, scaling through that, uh, scaling through that, yes, yeah. scaling that process, then we had to now freestyle. So the judges would just tell you, sing about the TV, just oh for instance. <laughs> sing and about then, you know, no, just for instance. Now I'll just as tell it was you, like freestyle. Yes, it? sing about a shirt. I know that that's easy for like a rapper because mm, rappers can just, just you know. Yeah. Huh? I'm like, how how am I supposed to sing about a shirt? <laughs> like it's no, you know, it's not like easy enough for True us. True that, anyway. I guess. Yeah, but I'm really grateful that it worked out well. Wow. After that stage, how what was the next stage? Uh, after the stage you win, okay. and then... It was just for the Western region, you didn't compete with anybody from the South no, and all of that? No, 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 no. It was okay. just the Western just the region. West yeah, region. so they just picked winners from the wow. Western region. It wasn't based on votes. No, 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 judges. judges yes. okay. I like judges, that. Yes. <laughs> it was votes now that I've done you the two second time again now. It was, yeah, was with no, it the votes. Yeah, it wasn't vote. It was just judges and... Judges, basically. Judges. And then, uh, it, I think what you do would just be... will give you the credibility mm. that you need. What did you win? 
Yeah, I won a contract, the year contract. With, with a record label? Yeah, or yes, yes, yeah, but, that, but that's expired <laughs> now, so I'm open for grab. <laughs> was there no cash prize? No, no, no. Just a contract? No, no, no. Contract. The, the cash prize was involved in the, in the contract. contract. Okay. contract. You know how this thing's going. Is this still, is the competition still on? Yes, of course. They do it yearly. They do it okay. yearly. They do it yearly, bro. But then look at you now. I mean, you've worked with Tubaba, Aide Kapasa, and then you work with Fino as well. Can you yeah, tell yes, us about yes. that? How was the... Yes, Fino. You know, that's another thing I didn't actually believe, you know, I didn't see coming. So the experience working with Fino was amazing. I think when you get, like, when you come in contact with these people on a professional level, not just, oh my God, I have a crush on this person level. When you come, like, a professional level, you get to see that they're just regular people. people. But you have a crush on him anyway. <laughs> no. <Okay. laughs> I didn't good, say good, that. Good. I'm yeah. just, uh, that's why I asked. If you had said that, I wouldn't no, have asked. Just, no, no, I, I, don't, I don't have a crush on him. Okay, but, you know, like, you just see that they're regular people. They're people that just have talent, you know, like you, mm. and they've been able to create, um, to create a niche for, for themselves. themselves yeah. And then they've been able to sell their brand and they're big now, mm. you know, underneath all the stardom, underneath everything, they just want to get the work done. Wow. Yeah, basically. Mm. All yeah. right, great. So how do we hit you up? How do your fans get to follow you on social media and all of that? Okay, I'm on Instagram, Zora007, Zora as in Z-O-R-A-H, 007. Double yeah, Why like do you just love this one? Hey. <laughs> okay. You know, I like the mischief and all. <laughs> <laughs> Great one. Okay, and then um, on Instagram, um, on Twitter is Zora Z007. That's Z O R A H Z E O seven double O seven. And then on um, Facebook, Zora, just Zora. Mm. Yeah, there's a fan page. Okay. Yeah. Snapchat Zora007. <laughs> All right. Now, Thank you. Uh, without the face, let's just leave you Facebook now. But this is 007, the born lady. Yes. She's going to be taking us out. It's been a Monday episode of The Breakfast Show. Thank you for tuning in onto the show. It's Zora007 taking yeah. us out. All right. So uh -huh. come this way. Come on. Let's hear the song. Let's hear the song. Okay. Let's take, let her take us out. Okay. Come on. Show. You see, God made you beautiful. From the back to the front, you beautiful. So my shot far away, my shit for so coffee. No duplicate and all its creations. Raise up your hair and work out your boom boom. You know you got it, don't be shy to flaunt it. To all my ladies all around the world, make your money. Oh, you're making homes walk hard, play hard, walk hard, play hard, walk hard, play hard, walk hard.